After months in the doldrums, Canada's economy showed signs of life in February. Nearly 51,000 jobs were added last month. That's far more than economists predicted. Most of the gains were in Ontario, and they were the best kind of jobs, full-time and in the private sector. It's a bit of good news in advance of the next federal budget. The finance minister, Jim Flaherty, gave more hints today about well, what will be in that. As Mike LeCouture reports, the government is taking aim at tax cheats. It's estimated billions of Canadian dollars are parked in sunny offshore accounts every year as people take advantage of loopholes in the system. And today, the finance minister hinted closing those loopholes could be the key to balancing the budget by 2015. It makes sense to invest more resources, for example, in the Canadian Revenue Agency so that we are better at policing the, the minority of Canadians who do not pay their fair share. So. But opposition parties say the CRA is set to lose 3,000 jobs over the next three years. Recent estimates show the department's budget will be cut by $100 million. So tell me where this is going to come from. Where are they going to be able to find the warm bodies to do the job? I applaud them for their idea. I want to see that the proof will be in the pudding. Rankin suggests the government target corporate tax cheats as they're responsible for siphoning more money than ordinary Canadians. In advance of his budget, Jim Flaherty met private sector economists for their assessment of Canada's economic health. But despite positive job numbers for February, our country still has a case of the sniffles, and many blame it on a cold gripping other economies. We need the rest of the world to be growing faster to push business investment spending in areas like resources. Flaherty plans to rein in government spending to keep Canada on track to eliminate the deficit by 2015. But economists say it's a realistic goal, but not necessary. It's not an absolute economic imperative to do it in that year. What really matters is the direction that you're going and that you're making fiscal improvement. But that's not how the government sees it. Flaherty and the Prime Minister have promised a balanced budget by the year 2015, which just happens to coincide with the next federal election. Donna. Mike LeCouture in Ottawa, thanks.